Hi, this is Makar and today today I would like to talk about the war dates in Ukraine for uh, January 11th. So let's start with um, some data. Um, so today is day number 322nd. As of today, there are 112,960 Russian personnel being killed in Ukraine since February 24th. That's uh, plus almost uh, half a thousand since the last day. Also, Ukrainian army destroyed nine uh, vehicles and fuel tanks, five artillery systems, uh, five APVs, and ten tanks. So that's, I believe, a quite successful um, day for Ukrainian army. Okay, let's go to the map. And, uh, okay, uh, in Lviv, um, over here, President um, Zelensky have met with uh, president of Poland and president of Lithuania. Um, and he said, quote, from the first days of the full scale invasion, we have left this, uh, we have felt the support of our uh, fraternal people of Poland and Lithuania. I'm grateful to Andrei Duda and uh, Gitana Snowsera for their visit. Uh, thank you for helping our people, he said. So let's, yeah. Um, and that's the hug of President Zelensky and President Andrei Duda of Poland. Um, and I believe there are... Uh, nope, not here. I believe... Yeah, there should be another photo of hugging of President Zelensky and President um, Gitana Snowsera of uh, Lithuania. Um, and President um, Duda is on the background and over here as well. Um, that they're shaking hands. Um, okay, so uh, let's go to Russia. So over here, uh, there is a blackout in Severny, north of Be uh, to Belharod after suspected drone hit power line. Um, so uh, maybe people of Severny will feel like uh, Ukrainians feel since October, since Russians started uh, hitting the uh, critical civilian critical infrastructure and um, people of Ukraine experience blackouts. Um, so, um, you know, people of Severny um, now, you know, sharing the, the, this experience. Um, also, two civilians were wounded as a result of shelling in Shabakina town of Belharod, right here. And also, uh, shelling reported in uh, Stary uh, Hutor village of Belharod region, right here. Um, okay, then, then, uh, where is it? Um, so, if we go to Moscow... Um, so, Chief of, Gen uh, of the General Staff Valery Gerasimov has been appointed commander of the Joint Group of Forces of Operation in Ukraine, uh, said uh, Russian Minister of Defense uh, uh, Sergei Shoigu. Uh, Sorovikin has uh, been appointed his deputy. Um, so, he was uh, de not promoted, but the, the opposite. Um, you know, uh, his position was downgraded. Um, then in Russia, in Rostov and Don, um, Russian Federation sentenced political prisoners uh, like uh, Gaziev, Gafanov, Karimov, Murtaza, and Osmanov to 13 years uh, in a penal uh, colony. So, as you can see, um, these guys um, are Muslims and they're saying that um, Islam is not terrorism and. Uh, uh, Islam is against terrorism and, um, you know, um, but they have been sentenced uh, f for political reasons. Uh, and uh, who is a Nazi country now? Okay. Um, that's, uh, you know, I, I will leave it for, uh, for leave these thoughts uh, out here. Okay. So in Belarus, in Belarus, right here in Minsk. Um, Belarus defense minister said that joint Russia, Russia, Belarusian air defense forces <clears throat> had been reinforced uh, with new missile units placed on duty. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, should we be afraid? 
Um, okay, Chernihiv region. Uh, Russian army shelled Asenkivka over here. Um, in Soma region, Russian army shelled uh, Kucherivka and uh, um, Pokrovka of Soma region. Let me zoom in a little bit on Kharkiv region. Um, Russian army shelled uh, a lot of towns. So, uh, Sosnivka, Zelene, Vovchansk. Uh, Kratne, Krasne, Lopan, Krasne Persha, Dvorichna, Vilshane, Orlanka, and uh, Kislivka. All of these towns and this. Um, also, Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near uh, Hrenikivka of Kharkiv region, right here. That's the first time in, uh, um, in weeks. Um, when um, there is a actual, you know, ground fighting um, in this area. And um, so as you can see, this area is uh, um, so-called gray zone between two, um, between red and blue, which means that um, it's not under anyone's control right now. Okay, um, then we in Kharkiv, explosions at fireworks uh, warehouse after in, uh, uh, in, uh, were reported in um, Kharkiv after Russian shelling over here. So uh, apparently they hit the fireworks um, storage and um, that was loud. I don't have any photos or videos uh, so far, but um, that was um, a lot of fireworks and that was loud and scary. Okay, Kupinsk area. Um, we talked about it. Um, then we're gonna go to Luhansk region. And uh, Russian army shelled uh, Novoselivsk and Stelimachivka. And Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near um, Stelimachivka over here. Um, then we're gonna go south to um, Bilogorivka area. Um, no, first Kremina. Uh, Russian army shelled Makivka, Nevsk and Chernobyl Popivka. The three. Um, then Russian army shelled Terny over here, uh, Serebrianka and uh, here and Spirne. And Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near Spirne. Um, then let me zoom in a little bit. Um, Solidar area of Donetsk region. Russian army shelled Bilohorivka, Yakovlivka, and Solidar. And Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near uh, Rozdolivka and Vesela of Donetsk region. Um, also, heavy clashes uh, continue in Solidar, according to Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, right here. Um, yeah, that's um, if we look at this map um, and if we look at the change um, of the front line. So, Solidar is getting um, encircled. So if we look at, let's go back to like a week ago, uh, January 4th, right? As you can see, Russians, you know, keep advancing uh, and surrounding Solidar. So as you can see, they closed up on uh, Blahodatne and um, there are rumors um, that Solidar is encircled completely and uh, Prigozhin, um, Yevhen Prigozhin, who is a leader owner of Wagner Group, mercenaries um, in Russia. He posted uh, in his Telegram channel that um, Solidar is now occupied, which is not true as of uh, end of day of uh, January 11th. However, um, the dynamic of the fighting um, is very high and um, there is no um, like life information from Solidar. So if we speak um, that, you know, the, the, the fighting continues. So, um, you know, uh, stay tuned um, to know more about the news from Solidar and, you know, for more updates. Um, okay, so then um, in Bakhmut, in Bakhmut area, Russian army shelled Bakhmut and Klishivka and also Bilahora. Uh, where is it? Over here. And Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks near Bakhmut and Klishivka. Also, two Polish humanitarian volunteers were wounded near Bakhmut. Right here. Um, 
And then now I would like uh, to show you something on Telegram that I saved for you. Um, so that's the fighting. That's a two minute video. Um, hopefully it's gonna, you know, load, um, you know, um, fast. Uh, if you want to skip it, just, you know, skip two minutes from now. Um, but uh, on this video, you'll see actual fighting uh, from the first uh, person, um, you know, fighting in Bakhmut. Let's watch it. gonna turn off the the music so I don't get punished by YouTube um, for copyright claim um, so as you can see Ukrainian soldiers are you know fighting um, everything is in ruins um, this guy is checking you know if there are Russian soldiers over there hiding uh, all the backyards of the houses are destroyed, so um, it's this area is not livable completely. In, I mean, like look at this house the, the, on the previous um, time code. Um, it had no roof, so literally this house has no roof. Look, that's the door. Like you know, everything is destroyed because of Russians. Um, you know, Bakhmut was so beautiful town, city, um, 185,000 pre-war population before Russians invaded Ukraine. So, um, let's see. I'm going to turn it off. Um, so, yeah. Some faces are blurred um, for safety reasons. Okay, that's it for uh, for this video. Um, let's go back to the map. Um, Toretsk area. Toretsk area is right here. Russian army shall Vesela, Vdivka and Pervomaiske. And Ukrainian military pelt Russian attacks near Vodone and Nevelske. Um, that's right here and over here. Avdivka area. Um, in Avdivka area, um, where is it? I'm sorry. Okay. Um, that actually, sorry, that was Avdivka. Um, so in Avdivka area, Russian army shall Vesel, Avdivka and Pervomaiske, and Ukrainian military pelt Russian attacks near Vodone and Nevelske. My bad. Um, then moving to Makivka, uh, to Marinka uh, over here. Russian army shall uh, Kurakivka, Kurakova, Georgivka, Marinka, and Paraskovivka. There's five. In Volodar area. Um, all of these towns. Um, Russian army shall Dvremivka, Veleka Novosilka, Volodar, Zelenopole, and uh, Olhivske of Donetsk region. And Ukrainian military pelt Russian tax near uh, Prochistivka. That's actually also the first time in weeks. Um, um, as you know, um, there were no actual ground fighting on this in this area for weeks, but um, that's the first time in um, definitely in January and I might say since uh, mid December. Um, so um, Zaporizhia, Zaporizhia uh, region, that's right here. Um, Russian army shelled Olhivske, Zaliznichne, Malatokmachka, Hulepole, Stapove, Sherbaki, and Bilogiria of Zaporizhia region. All of these towns. And also Russian army shelled Zaporizhia overnight. <clears throat> that's a photo of the results of shelling. That's a piece of the, the missile. Um, that's, that's a huge piece. Um, okay, 
her son. Um, her son. Let me zoom out a little bit. So Russian army showed Antonivka, Vesele, Respublikanis, Dniprovske, Duchany, Milove, Zolota Balka, and Kherson City itself. Um, and also uh, Kherson City was um, Russian army showed Kherson City with uh, incendiary ammunition. Uh, that's prohibited uh, weapons, um, and that's that's not a surprise that Russia uses um, these kind of weapons that is not allowed by UN. Um, okay, so uh, here I would like uh, to show you a video of a Russian propaganda um, that um, is being provided, produced on uh, main media channels in Russia. So this is Olha Skabeyeva, one of the main um, propagandists. And uh, what she's saying is um, uh, basically, uh, I'll translate it to you. So uh, at Christmas, uh, all the candles in Germany uh, were sold out. Um, but not because of the celebration uh, environment. But German uh, German people uh, believe that they will have blackouts in um, this summer, uh, this uh, winter, and that's why they buy ev all the alternative um, uh, ways of uh, you know light. But um, the worst uh, situation is in the United Kingdom. Because of the uh, price increase, people of um, the city of Cardiff, now they eat um, food for uh, cats and dogs, for pets. And they warm it up on the batteries, on the, you know, heaters, like... Um, And now British women uh, become uh, prostitutes. Basically, they they sleep uh, in exchange for food and um, and warm. And so that's that's what Russian propaganda is. And if you believe in any Russian um, narrative that um you might be fool because this is what they are you know producing on um, mass media and that's that's what 140 million of russians and i'm not afraid of saying 140 million almost all of them believe in this bs so um let me know uh, in the comments what you think about this um propaganda uh in russia um if you heard any anything more stupid than this, you know, leave leave a link in the comments or um, you know, reach out to me. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, um, click on like and subscribe to my channel. Um, the number of subscribers uh, subscribers uh, almost reached one hundred. Um, it's ninety two right now, so. Um, I'm getting there, so um, I need eight more to get a hundred subscribers. So please share it with your friends so they can subscribe uh, to this channel. Thanks for, very much for watching and have a nice day.